and welcome back to another episode of my Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. Uh, that was a little awkward, but anyways, today we're gonna go see what Bonnie needs, possibly go see West Dickens, and just do some exploring. Does anyone know what that means, like the line he just said? Because I, I hear that once in a while from him, but I'm I'm not sure if that translates to. Because like uh, I I know a little bit of Spanish and like a few other languages, but it's not really that much. Bow, bow. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and accept that. Ten dollars, ten dollars. Like I, I don't really have a way to capture him alive yet, but I might here in a second. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, 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 bark. Oh yes, this is the this is like the cattle herding thing. I actually might Mr. Have so soon. I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you can say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. That's you very complicated. You so talking riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, it took call my me line. Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Okay. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories well, don't really fade. Rich. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Yeah. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the yeah. life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I 
need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> Got it. Sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. Running, 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 charge. Hop. Let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. You got it. Come. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Easy now! And into position. Separate. Stick. All right, stay together. Oh, stay together. Oh no. Okay. Uh, turn. Yes. Thank you. Move. Let's go. This is a small herd. Oh god, there's a snake. Okay, I'm good. Uh, yes, join your buddies at the pasture and eat some grass. Maybe a little more difficult than I anticipated. That way they'll stay together. Okay. Control that uh, horse, will ya? Come on, oh. easy up now. I've got some Man, power. Keep going, Mr. Bobber. Stay together. Oh yeah, sure. Ding, 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 ding. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Mm, Thank you, Mr. Maybe. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. That cow just said, move, move, man. I need somewhere to go. I need somewhere to go. Yeah. Great grammar there, dude. Easy. Oh. Where's the snake? Okay, I'll just hope I don't get bit. But... Come on. Um, you know, in the area that, that I live in, it's like, we get a lot of coyotes. Like, there's even a problem where it's like, That's sometimes they after. will come into the neighborhood and like eat people's cats in the summer sometimes and yeah. it's like the funny thing is it's like wow that's a very blue bird but uh funny thing is it's like despite that oh I almost ran over a chicken despite that I've rarely ever seen 
like, that's what an I actual coyote, like, if I ever even have, like, I, I've just heard them, like, heard them, yeah. like, kind of moving around the woods around here, but, funny enough, I've actually never seen one, which is kind of strange whenever I think about it. Hey, uh, You know, it's kind of iffy, but sometimes it'll let me skin the horses, sometimes it doesn't. And... Give me your skin! This is a messy one. Pixelated meat. Oh, that... Now, now I think about that since I just said that, that sounds so wrong. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Wait, why'd that dude run away on foot instead of taking that horse? Uh... gonna keep moving. Although, hold on. I could actually could actually bring it back into town so that someone could actually have some use for it. Yes. Then my horse shall follow along. see very many glitches like that, but there there seems to be a lot more right now. Like just random floating boxes, guys in the ground, like like something's up with this one. Hold on, what's going on over here? You're welcome to share this campfire. Yeah Jeez. sure. You can tell some stories for a bit. Although you're like towns There's right there. Gang tearing up armadillo. Lawman trying to take him down for years. I hear tell Marshal Johnson had a fellow with him that was an uncanny marksman. They took down the Walton's gang. And they hit him with several shots and it didn't even face him. Was that me? All I know is I don't want to cross that fella. Or ever come across him. Ain't lovely. What? Uh, we ain't long you, you actually world. already came across him, Well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I think I think the story time is done. So, you got away with words, Mister. I'll give you that. God bless. Yeah, you got away with words. Come on. Fencing. My nemesis strikes once again. I have a lot of nemesis all of a sudden. There. Bonnie gets a free horse. And...
Poof. 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 Wait, did I? Yeah, I died with the last bounty. Wild horses tame passions. Huh. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank I you. How are you? I'm fine, here. thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I'm very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men winter and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Yeah, who knows? You're a brave man. You're always gonna be welcome here. But you tell your friends yeah. out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Good. Well, that's somewhere fresh. We won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm not a city dweller. Although I actually am. Yeah. I hang out in black water. You're gonna need this, time. Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's Excuse see if we can't wrangle some of mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got the lasso now. I can lasso with people. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just but I know the we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that coin thing that he mentioned, that's actually something that they used to do a long time ago. Oh, no. You'll have this in no time. Come on, man. Oh, no. You're doing fine. Yeah. 
Sickness, because that, that that probably sucked for, on, for you guys. Let's rope another one. Yeah. Come on, rope one of them. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Go. Sorry, my rope's too short. You know, that horse was very cooperative. Now. For a little bit there. Wow. Oh no. no. This don't feel too good. Oh, no, don't fall. Relax. Don't fall. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nearly got you. Come on. Calm down now. You were a while. Oh, there we go. so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck <laughs> must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarlane. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Bustin' Bronco? That was fun! I think... Yeah. <laughs> well done, Mr. Marston. Sure knew. These are fine. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. All right, let's do it. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a cat. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Honestly, she's a really good character. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. Just my my headphones. <sighs> All right, set back up. Let's get some more horses. Stick together. 
Jump stick. Get it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hey, no, stick together. There you go. Oh, I meant oh, that hanging yeah. off again. Okay, stick together. Need... Come on. Stick together. up immediately. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are. Indeed. Hey, the stallion's getting Ouch. away! for your help today, Mr. Keep Marston. Stallion. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Go. to be 
there should be a stranger quest icon over there. Somewhere around here. I can see all the low textures from like all the stuff being off in the distance and like low polygons. This game still somehow manages to be so pretty. Despite being almost nothing but desert. scared me for a second. I was like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's just a horse. Got me some flowers. And, uh, now I will explore these here hills. Oh. See the hills at Hanging Rock. Shit, the hills Come on. near Hanging Rock. This is this is not quite there, but it's close. Oh Whoa, no, my yeah. horse stepped in mud. And those. Those animals in the background sounded quite aggressive. Come on. All right, and looks like Bonnie's probably closer, so I'm just just gonna do that. Take the horse back to Bonnie and then just, just kind of just hang out in the ranch for a while. Oh shit! Oh no! They literally just gave me that horse. Oh fuck me. No! A jump scare today. Holy shit. <sighs> Cougar killed your horse and you kill it and just get it. This is dirty. Man. This is this was a nice horse. Wait, the other one just teleported. Hey, John, that's rude. Don't tell the horse he stinks. He may be dead, but that's rude. Yeah. Alright. Alright, then. I guess there's no need to come up with, like, an impromptu name. So, uh, I guess we're, we're not doing that anymore. So, uh, again, suggestions. You're back on the window. Back in the open. Like, I I don't know what to actually name him. I just think Johnson out. Just because I'm like, ah, oh, I, I mean, you can names let people know what I'm talking about, but. We'll, we'll see. Mr. Wilson. Man, the cougars in this game are 
intense though. Like, oh no. Why is it taking me through Pike's Basin? It's actually still abandoned, apparently. Ah, the sunset's beautiful yeah. in this game. Slow down. Oh, Easy. there's a snake. I'm gonna go cut it. That'll work. It's like, it's like I kill a snake and I hear a dog, well, like, yelp in the background. This'll fetch a good price. Yeah, just make me some snakeskin boots. Let's go. Whoa there. Hello. I already killed your friend. Now, ow! He bit me. me for killing his friend. Exactly, coyote. Ah! Oh lord, this is nasty. Man, I'm glad I wasn't on on this horse whenever that cougar showed up. It's like it's like over here. Oh, there's another chest. It's like over here. It's like. You either randomly get attacked by a cougar and like just have to hope that you don't die, which if I didn't fall off like that hell and like roll off of it, like <coughs> yeah, excuse me. It would have been like right there. So I mean I kinda would have been screwed right there. Like Oh, I hear another snake. I'm just gonna ignore him. But, it's like, I would have been screwed if I didn't have like that little bit of extra distance I could actually get up. What's that coyote doing? Oh, but she's. Big cruel, snake. My yeah, indeed. Very cruel. Let's make this quick. That's a lot of these widows at home, Long, and turn around. You boys are embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Saved us doing our job, and we thank you for it. Hey, I, I just bumped him with my horse as he was trying to run away. Like, I I didn't really save you much work. I just bumped him with the horse. And you shot him. He's a skunk. took me this direction, but oh well. What's going on over here? This. Oh boy, let's go. Run. Come on, come on, let's go! Hey, Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, Amos! Uh, hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you say, right, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round right, up let's your go. Man. Let's get the herd. Dang. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm good at horning go. the cows apparently, time. so uh, so uh, I'll help the cattle. All right, let's go. That storm sure did come in fast. It wasn't raining at all before. But, uh, yeah. Reminds me last week. Yeah, hell nothing. Oh, what's that? Flick Come on, right? boy. Come on. Set eleven and right the answer to ten. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Um, we have to stop the stampede and uh hurry, hurry. Do something! They're heading for the Oh, 
back. There you go. No. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Nice. everybody out in the rain oh wait yeah it's in the desert it's probably quite nice Yeah, here's the nice flowers. Doing business with you. I was talking to some Blackwater fellows last night. Seemed kind of snooty. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Bang Cougars. for the visit. Bang. Pulp. And the meat. And the cloth. Some snake skin. Make some boots or whatever. Don't ask how I got this horse hide. It's an awful lot. Another satisfied but, uh, customer. Yeah. Seems there's something big hanging in the air. Could be good or bad. Yeah, we'll see. Spread the word. I got nothing but good, honest product. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Got it. Man, that storm stopped quickly. Alright, let's follow Charlie again. Follow Charlie. Follow Charlie. He's a good, good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie. Charlie. And now I've got the lasso, so I can actually get paid more like I used to on my last playthrough. Just, like, tie everybody up. Oh, there's lightning in the distance. So the storm, like the rain's passed over, but I can still see all the lightning. Bitter batter, bitter batter, bitter batter. Turn around there for a minute, though. Oh, it, it's That's raining right, again. <laughs> yeah, you're you're getting wet, and then you're going to bed wet. That that sounded a little weird, but it's true. He he's gonna be he's gonna be kind of damp. Maybe just a little bit. 
Same with that, dude. Alright, follow Charlie. John just shot the doctor. Oh, he, he went. He went to pick him up quite quickly. Just leave him out in the rain for a little bit, man. He just killed someone. Might as well get him a little damn. Hello. Oh, John, don't be rude. You're very welcome. <sighs> this rain's quite nice. You know what? This episode's getting close to an hour, but uh, I think I'm just gonna keep going anyways. Move back to the enjoyable. Almost hit Charlie. Yes, you you certainly do. Hello, John. John Marston. Just standing out in the range watching Mexico. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Oh, that's dark. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? You got it. What do you think I am? Uh, I know what you are, John. Uh, excuse me. Just if you've got the time, friend. Oh, excuse me. This is quite interesting.
man, I don't remember ever, like, coming across that side mission in, like, the rain, like, this, um, the vibe it gives off whenever it's raining like this and so stormy is, uh, definitely a lot more, uh, ominous, to say the least. Yeah, that was a little odd. But I will see what this is. Looking for some water and soon. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, Mr. Uh, Marston. Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Yeah, he could oh, also there say ain't nothing Jim wrong Jim. with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, wait, how, man how's needs he a know? wellspring on his proper tide of ranch here. Proper time. Yeah. Nice. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper time. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Got it. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Wait, so... If that old man lives there... And if I'm calling correctly... He's actually quite hostile. It's like... How did that gang end up? How did they end up over there? Come on. It's like, it's like this is probably meant to be a lot more spaced out, but oh well. Flowers. Yes. Boom. Yeah. It's the train. No, now I think about it. What is the next task? Yeah, challenges. Six Desert Sage, okay. We'll see how long that takes. And find some treasure. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, more flowers. Give me flowers so I can sell them. Come on. Beauty.
you know, you think about it. Is that like a real flower? Or is it just like, or is it like just the name's different? It's just similar to something. Oops. Looks like I've seen them before, but I don't think I've ever heard anybody call the flowers by the fever view. Oh! Oh! Nice, more money. And all the way. Halfway to. Halfway to. Five, to 1,000. Alright, let's go. Alright, I got my I'm gonna get wet. Like I am. Cold in the desert at night. I'm probably gonna be quite chilly. <laughs> right, hello, Nigel. I I help you now. Oh, he's laying Excuse me, sir, you need help? in the rain. That's, uh, not Mister, very you good. Alive? Fuck, fuck, God damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm Why coming home! <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Okay. Just focus. Get you on your wagon. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Uh, yeah, you seem to be in pretty bad shape right now. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for Armadillo, friend! Alright, no problem. What is your name, friend? John Morse! Oh, good God! It's also I Jim. Man into the fire. Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Baller Twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man yeah. with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. They're back. I'm done for. We're doomed without that horse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it looks like you got them all. Now, get me to a doctor. What the hell happened to you? Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give yeah. so much and still they take. We live yeah. in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Oh. Still, at least I met you. The good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. And forgive me, pain is playing rare havoc with exactly my metaphors. Shoot the wolf's clothes. You're killing me! Get back on the damn road! Come on, don't stop! I'm begging you! Oh, God. No! 
Armadillo. Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank Welcome you, sir. Thank you, you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. <laughs> I owe you, sir. And I always pay much my debts. Appreciated. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for for let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Yeah, there we go. And that's another good thing. Ta da! Alright, how much is it? been a while, I don't really remember. Oh. Oh, she was actually talking to me. I actually didn't think she was. The best of health to you, my dear. Oh wow, I, that's a lot cheaper than I remember the game. Okay, flex some ammo. Oh, nice money. Someone left for me. doing everything I wanted to do for this part so I uh, hope to see you guys for the next episode and peace out <laughs>